Hello friends, we'll be discussing the concept of monopolistic competition now. Now, the term monopoly refers to single seller, many buyers. Similar to that, monopolistic competition refers to a part of this monopoly itself. Now, what exactly monopolistic competition means? We have learned about perfect competition. We have learned about the oligopoly competition. We have learned about kinked competition. Now, it's time for us to learn about what exactly monopolistic competition means. Now, all these things or rather whatever perfect competition we have learned about in this chapter till date, we have learned only about in depth of perfect competition now this is in depth of monopolistic competition that we'll be discussing further let's start with the explanation point of it let's go through the first point that has been mentioned here now a monopolistic competition is defined as that market structure in which each seller produces a differentiated product now every time a monopolistic competition is referred to make sure i'm not discussing the term monopoly in total i'm discussing a term which is known as monopolistic there is a lot of difference in the term monopoly and monopolistic here now what exactly is the difference is something that we are going to read about now monopoly in one place refers to only one seller that is one seller who is selling out the product but when it comes to monopolistic competition this is a little different now how different is this is because you have only few sellers here it may be two or three sellers who are selling differentiated products a little differentiated product is something that we can term about now let's take an example of the tire company we have different companies we have like see it we have like tvs we have mrf exactly so we have different companies like this all right all of these sell different tires they are selling tires the product is same tires is what they're selling but there are different products in terms of tires some may have extra threads some may be eligible for long kilometers some may be durable in terms of punctures etc so these features when they differentiate a product and they are being sold out by different sellers which are very handful the term handful is really important to compare monopolistic competition with monopoly in monopoly there is just one seller in monopolistic there is or rather there are handful of sellers who sell differentiated product in perfect competition what we have learned about there are different sellers who are selling homogeneous product that means similar products there here in monopolistic there are handful of sellers who are selling differentiated products differentiated in terms of the features and not the product exactly hence differentiated products in terms of handful of sellers when this thing or rather this situation arises that situation is known as monopolistic situation or monopolistic competition here now the concept of product differentiation means that the product marketed by one seller can be distinguished from the product marketed by the other sellers in some form or other as discussed see it mrf and tvs they may be selling different tires or rather they may be selling tires for cars itself let's take an example see it mrf and tvs are selling tires for cars but see it will be selling a tire which has more of threads that means more of grip on the road tvs is selling a tire which is cheap efficient and will run only for 50,000 kilometers post which you can have to or other which will have to be changed as per the requirement now mrf is selling tires which has different threads as well as compared to see it and TVS and it runs for 1 lakh kilometers as well so there are different products or rather differentiated products we can call that's the exact term that we can use differentiated products similar kind of products that are being sold out but differentiation is done because of the features that are available in C8 TVS and MRF so based on these three sellers or rather we have only handful as I said handful sellers only these three sellers are available with us right now and these three sellers are selling products which are same that is tires but they are differentiated based on the features that is have or rather that they have now this whole situation is known as monopolistic competition here now let's go on the features or rather few more discussions of this 
Some of the important methods of product differentiation include the trademark. That is, on what trademark? C8 will have a different trademark. MRF will have a different trademark. TBS will have a different trademark. Michelin will have a different trademark altogether. Brand names. C8 has a different brand name. Same as TVS and MRF, they have different brand names here. It depends on how exactly whether it's an Indian company, whether it's a foreign company and how exactly the product quality differs here. Size, packing or color etc. Some may have very black shades of tires. Some may have a white rim outside the tire. Some may have completely different tires. Based on that, so size packing it comes, color, brand name, trademark, printing etc threads differentiation all these things can differentiate the product here so this item or rather all these changes differentiation that includes of the item and technical specifications etc so whatever technical specifications we have whatever trademarks we have whatever differentiations that we do based on the size of the packing based on the color based on the type of the tire based on the mold based on the different product that is used or rather what is the exact material that is used in making the tire based on all these things we can segregate the products into different specifications altogether hence because of this we can also say that these products are differentiated although being homogeneous in the first place that is tire itself and hence there are different sellers or rather handful of different sellers who are selling out only these kind of products so c8 is only into tire making it is not into garment making it is not into confectionery making it is not into any other kind of products and services it is only into tires hence these handful of sellers have you ever heard about any other tire amazon is coming up with any other tire no you don't you have only certain limited brands so when you have limited brands there this kind of market is known as monopolistic market or monopolistic competitive market here now what exactly do we have further in this let's understand that now according to professor Liftwich, monopolistic competition is a market situation in which there are many sellers of a particular product but the product of each seller in some differentiated way is in some differentiated way basically in the minds of the consumers from the product of every other seller now when we are talking about monopolistic market there will be handful of sellers okay this is one point handful sellers now these handful sellers will be selling particular products okay now this particular products here will be differentiated these will be differentiated according to the needs now this differentiation can come because of the features of the product that we have already discussed let's take an example of something else which may be cars now we have certain limited brands here. Do we have thousands of brands in India? No, we don't. We have like Hyundai, you have like Maruti Suzuki, we have Kia, we have Tata, etc. Now, these are handful sellers who are selling cars that is a homogeneous product but every car is different maruti hatchback will be different as compared to the tata hatchback in terms of the sizing in terms of the shape in terms of the mileage in terms of the features that is available in the specifications of the car maruti will be giving certain added benefits in terms of the features tata won't be able to give that because the price of that specific product is low but it suffices your needs now based on this this kind of competition can be called as monopolistic competition here now according to professor h h levaski monopolistic competition has today come to a mean stage or rather mean a state of affairs in which there is a large number of sellers selling non-homogeneous or slightly differentiated products and in which freedom of entry exists monopolistic competitions as we see that kia is a new market that is a new car manufacturer that is coming in india then we or rather similar to that we have mg hector similar to that we have Huawei, which is a china company again now we have general motors that is coming into the business again with india now all these different companies hence we said that there is free entry that still exists in such competition free entry that means anyone can still come in there are no barriers as compared to the monopoly when it comes to monopoly now monopoly 
has differentiation with monopolistic in monopoly there is no free entry you need to clear out those barriers first to get an entry into the market but when it comes to monopolistic competition there are fewer entries or rather fewer barriers here that you have to compete or rather as compared to monopoly there are very less barriers hence the free entry concept still exists when it comes to monopolistic competition again the features that we'll be talking about when it comes to monopolistic will be slightly similar to monopoly because here the products are homogeneous we call them homogeneous but they are slightly differentiated because of the features here now thus in the market structure or rather in this market structure each seller is a monopolist of his differentiated product C8 will be a monopoly in terms of different kind of threads that are available because none of the other tire companies are able to provide that many threads, that many differentiation, that many varieties. Similarly, TVS will be one such company which will be able to provide certain amount of threads with certain kilometers warranty at a cheap rate that is only available with TVS as compared to MRF which will be able to provide you with different kind of threads as well at a stagnant price or rather at a reasonable price here but with higher kilometers warranty if TVS is giving you 50,000 MRF is giving you 1 lakh kilometers so every product is slightly differentiated so it will be very difficult for you to choose unless and until you know what exactly you want what is your requirement you are clear about what kind of requirement you have and based on that you will be able to figure out how exactly you need to change your requirements or rather if based on your requirement is there any product in the market or not or if you have to revive or rather rechange the specifications that you are looking for in terms of the market segmentation now the buyer can get it only from him and from no one else or rather from none else if you're looking out for different variety of threads that is available only with C8 there is no other company that is giving you such kind of products or other different variety of threads it depends only on C8 because those are the only sellers who have different variety or rather they have the patent related to it at the same time however the products offered by different sellers are close substitutes of each other Hence, as I'm saying that threads, different kind of threads are also provided by the specifications of TVS and MRF. But the variety that C8 has, none of these people have. Hence, we can call TVS and MRF being a close substitute of C8 here, but not equal substitute or equivalent substitute here. Hence, you need to understand that equivalent substitute is different or rather perfect substitute is different and close substitute is different close substitute is that you can manage those things perfect substitute is that if this is not available you can take this because the specifications are really really same hence that is the same thing if i have to compare two bikes i can say that these two bikes are running on two tires right i can say that these two bikes have the same kind of features but i cannot differentiate the cosmetic features because the cosmetic feature of one bike will be completely different as compared to the same bike but if you're dealing with the same bikes or of the other bikes of the same company here you can still manage to differentiate or rather you can still manage to figure out yes this bike is similar to this bike as well because only color difference is there rest everything is there for example if you take Bajaj Pulsar 220F all right some may have if you're comparing two Bajaj Pulsar 220F the only difference may be that the color is changing rest everything remains the same that is known as homogeneous product but if you are comparing Bajaj Pulsar 220F with Bajaj Dominar there may be different features the CC is different that means the engine cubic capacity is different here again the features of Dominar is different it is a little bulkier heavier bike as compared to Bajaj Pulsar 220F exactly because of the engine size here the specifications related to Bajaj Pulsar is different as compared to the Bajaj Dominar so there are a lot of features that you can discuss there are a lot of features that you can figure out that yes there is a change in this there is a change in that based on that you need to figure out how exactly things will work out for you now when we are going on to the next part of this the buyers are always comparing the prices of their product together with the perceived quality of each when we are speaking about comparing let's draw a few diagram for you this is bike one this is bike two this is bike three the price of bike one as compared to price of bike two and the price of bike three you will always compare the price first why because you have restricted income first of all you need to figure out 
which of these bikes are within your affording range if bike one is within your affording range and bike two is also within your affording range you will compare bike one and bike two but if bike three is beyond your affording range you will skip that bike completely you won't even go into details or other depth of it hence bike one and bike two is something that you will be looking forward for but again bike one and bike two features are similar as compared to or rather when we are talking only about the price both these bikes fall under your affording category now the next part comes as to what are the features that are available with bike one and bike two now if majority of the features are provided by bike one you will select bike one but if bike one and bike two are providing the similar kind of features you will now put your forward preferences that means you'll put forward your preferences if bike one is also providing the similar kind of preferences bike two is also providing the similar kind of preferences you will check exactly according to the features and according to the looks which one would you prefer based on that you will select your bike and you will confirm the product for yourself hence in other words there is also an intense competition between the suppliers for the share in the market bike one will be related to bajaj and bike two will be related to yamaha okay let's take this as an example now there is a lot of competition between yamaha and bajaj because both of them want certain market share for their company for their products and that can happen only if they are able to cope up with the cutting market edge competition that is happening every now and then every second every hour every day we see certain technological advancement that is happening in the industry and based on that these people have to cope up with that speed will have to match in order to retain the market share now in terms of maintenance and average cost bajaj is the one who has already secured a higher segment of people because their maintenance is low after sales service is low similar to that maruti is also one of the major segment whereby in terms of mileage maruti is the best car in terms of maintenance maruti is the best car it is a family car it is an affordable car but if the same thing you go for a mercedes of course the maintenance is high the maintenance of that specific car the mileage of that specific car is low but it is a status symbol so you don't see mercedes on and off on the road every time you visit any place but you definitely see a maruti you definitely see a hyundai coming in coming out day in day out why is it because there are price segmentation that is done there is a market or rather aftermarket sales service maintenance etc all these factors have to be considered by a buyer before buying any such product so if i'm buying any product i will go into in depth of everything just to know that i'm taking or rather i'm investing that much of amount in the right product so that i don't have to regret it because i cannot sell this product once i buy it right i'll be investing my amount so i want to make sure that every penny that is invested in that product is giving me the returns as and how i am expecting it to be now the next point refers to for this reason itself it is a market structure in which there is competition between a group of firms while each firm is monopolist of its own product now because of these segregations these financial changes or rather these features that keep on changing every now and then there is a competition there is a cutting edge competition between group of firms there will be a competition between bajaj and yamaha or any other bike company it may be java as well the new company the royal enfield company all these things all these companies will have a cutting edge competition based on the features based on the mileage based on the advancement based on the prices based on the maintenance etc all these things will be compared together to see which one is the best option and based on that you will select your product so whichever item or rather whichever product is giving you the best possible services best mileage affordable price good looks you will select that product itself so every company has to be into that cutting edge competition itself now it is therefore termed as a monopolistic competition now because of all these reasons that we have learned right now hence we term it as a monopolistic competition and not something which is known as monopoly monopolistic has a lot of competition again but not as compared to the perfect competition perfect competition it is absolutely 
weird, weak and bizarre if you bring out certain advancement or rather if you try to bring out certain advancement because the price is remaining constant there, it is stagnant. Here you still have influence on the price. In perfect, there is nothing like that. Now, when we go on to the next slide of this, however, defining a monopolistic competition in this manner, though very realistic, poses certain problems of its own. Every competition has certain problems. Perfect competition has a problem of price influencing. You cannot influence the price there at all. No matter if it is a seller, if it is the buyer, none of them have the right or rather have the possibility of changing the price, influencing the price. If at all the buyer or rather if at all the seller tries to influence the price, it is not going to crack a deal at all. The reason being it is not possible for that specific market to run according to the price discrimination here. However, in terms of monopolistic competition, you can still influence the price based on the features that you're providing here. High number of features at an affordable price, you can still influence the price because you are providing that many features. For example, let's take if Maruti starts giving out the features that are in a Mercedes, you will expect the Maruti prices to go up a little high, but people can still afford it because it is better taking a 10 lakh car rather than taking a 50 lakh car here as compared to any other Hyundai. So if Hyundai is giving you a car within 7 to 8 lakhs and you have to spend 2 more lakhs to get features of Mercedes there, which one would you offer or rather which one would you opt for? You would opt for spending out 2 more lakhs and buying a car which is very very similar in terms of features to a Mercedes rather than buying an actual Mercedes itself because buying an actual Mercedes is not something that you can afford. Second, it is not within your range. Third, it is not advisable or rather it is not cost efficient for you after buying the car here. Now, when we are going through certain problems here, let's figure out the first one. Since the products supplied by the competing firms are not homogeneous, therefore we cannot define the concept of market demand for the product precisely. That is, it is not possible to determine the average revenue curve of the industry as whole. Now that we are dealing into monopolistic competition, most of the products are not homogeneous. Because they are not homogeneous, hence we cannot define what is the market demand of a specific product here. If the products were homogeneous, then in that cases, or rather whenever homogeneous is the term that is used, in such cases you can define the market demand here. You can figure out what is the market demand based on the specifications that you get or rather based on the details that you get from the market. But what if these products are not homogeneous? How are you going to compare them? Hence, precise market demand cannot be derived here in monopolistic competition. Not only that, it is very difficult to even define an industry in a precise manner. If one firm's product demand or rather market demand cannot be judged, are you able to or rather will you be able to judge the product demand of one specific industry? Will you be able to? You won't be able to, right? Because all these industries are comprised of firms and if firms are not able to generate their market demand, how will the industry demand or rather how will the industry form its own market demand there? Hence, when it comes to firms of monopolistic competition, it affects the industry as a whole. Hence, for the same reason that is it constituent firms are not supplying the same products. At the most, we may think of a group of firms selling close substitutes of each other. When we are dealing with Monopolistic competition, we may think that it is not just one firm or one firm as an industry. We may think it as like group of firms that are joining together to sell out certain products which are not homogeneous, which have like certain differentiation in them. And that can be termed as the market demand or rather close substitute goods can be termed as market demand in total. Hence, that is something that you need to understand when it comes to product differentiation, market demanding of monopolistic competition here now when we go into the next slide let's figure out few more details it is not possible to have a satisfactory definition of even a group a group is called or rather group of similar people can you say group of similar firms in terms of monopolistic no you cannot because every firm is dealing into different products which are slightly related to each other based on certain features or which may be slightly differentiated based on certain features hence you cannot even call it as a group you cannot call those handful sellers as group of people why is because all those handful people are selling out one product which has certain differentiation if product a 
is product B is product C. That means all these product A, B and C will have certain differentiation, certain different patterns, certain things that we need to understand on the basis of that. So this is because the product group such as scooters or motorcycles under consideration itself is in competition with the product group. Hence, when we are saying that product group happens, it may be like certain things that we are discussing about. It may be in terms of the specification that has been mentioned here. We can call it as scooters or group of scooters. Again, when you are talking about scooters, scooters is a specific definition. Under scooters, there are different kind of companies that are selling out scooters. It may be Honda, it may be any kind of jazz, it may be any kind of thing or other Honda, Suzuki, Axis, all these things are coming up with different scooters. Yamaha is coming up with scooters, Honda is coming up with scooters, Suzuki is coming up with scooters, Aprilia is coming up with scooters. So different companies, but the shape of the scooters are different. The size of the scooter is different. Average of the scooters are different. Prices of the scooters are different. Exactly because of this, we cannot call it as a group as well. So whatever you have learned right now, these are the details that you need to understand why exactly or other this is what monopolistic competition means for you. This is exactly how you can term monopolistic competition to be different as compared to any other source or rather when we have to compare monopoly with monopolistic competition with perfect competition. These are the features. These are the things that you can mention down there whenever it comes to meaning of monopolistic competition. So that's it for the video. Thank you.